Freestyle Libre 1, Freestyle Libre 2, Freestyle Libre 3. Yes, that's right. A totally new version of Freestyle Libre. Freestyle Libre 3 will become available in the next few months. And here is how it's actually not gonna look like. It's not gonna look like this at all because it's totally different. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how Libre 3 is different from Libre 2, what new features it has and when you can start using it. So scan your sensors and let's go. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom. I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel, I help you navigate your diabetes journey. Guys, this week I wanted to make a video about Libre Sense, but when Abbott came up with this press release on Monday and announced Freestyle Libre 3, I just had to change my plans. Because Libre 3 is a complete game changer, is so much better than Libre 1 and even Libre 2, and it has so many new features, it's totally redesigned, and I guarantee you it will take your diabetes management to the next level. So let's get right into it. Improvement number one, and this is really my favorite one. Libre 3 takes real-time, minute-by-minute readings and sends them directly to the app via Bluetooth. So Libre is finally moving this CGM from on-demand to always on. So what does this really mean? Well, it means that Libre 3 will work pretty much like Dexcom. You don't have to scan the Libre 3 sensor anymore. You will see the readings all the time in the app on your phone, minute by minute. You will be getting optional real-time alarms and you will be able to customize them. You can get rid of all your old sensor readers like this one. You just don't need it anymore for Libre 3. You can just throw it away. It's not a problem. And most importantly, the Dexcom users will not be able to make fun of you anymore and saying that you don't have a real CGM, because now with Libre 3, you do. Improvement number two, Libre 3 is way smaller than his predecessors and is actually the smallest and the thinnest CGM sensor on the market right now. Abbott says that Libre 3 has a size of a five cent coin or two stacked pennies if you're in the UK. I mean, no one's really using this kind of coins anymore because you cannot buy anything with five cents. But if you don't know how big these coins are, I can assure you they are really, really tiny. I think having a smaller and a more discreet sensor will be really great and I'm really looking forward to this. But I also think what is more important is that the smaller size helped Abbott to make their sensors in a more environmentally sustainable way and reduce material costs at the same time. And so if you think about it, Abbott was able to save about half of the material costs in production, which allowed them to make this sensor that is packed with technology, packed with new technology at the same price as Libre 2 or Libre 1, although you can do so much more with it. And this will make Libre 3 really tough competitor for Dexcom because Dexcom, let's be honest, is way more expensive in most of the countries than Freestyle Libre. Improvement number three, the new Freestyle Libre 3 app. Um, wait a minute, the design is exactly the same as the Libre Link app, they just added number three in it. So is this the only change? Well, to be honest, this I don't know. I expect that the app will have similar functions that the Libre Link app had, uh, but I also expect and I hope there will be some new cool feature connected with the fact that now Freestyle Libre is actually a CGM. The Freestyle Libre 3 app should be available on both Android and iOS, and basically the phones that you used with previous generations of Freestyle Libre, you should be able to use with Libre 3. Improvement number four, Libre 3 is designed to work as part of an automated uh, insulin delivery system and it received European clearance as an ICGM. And this means that you will be able to use Libre 3 as part of a closed loop system with your insulin pump if you have one. You will be basically able to set up an autopilot for your insulin dosage and insulin delivery. This autopilot 
will have a goal and the main goal of the autopilot is to keep your blood sugar in range. And this is something that will help dramatically increase your time in range. Abbott is currently working in a partnership with Tandem, which is a company that makes insulin pumps and they make the insulin pump that I have. So I expect it will be possible to integrate Libre 3 with the Tandem insulin pump and its control IQ functionality really, really soon. Now, a few more important things about Libre 3. Libre 3 will have the same accuracy as, as Libre 2. So if Libre 2 was giving you accurate enough readings, you should also be happy with Libre 3. The MARS, which is the most important criteria when it comes to accuracy, stays between 9 to 10% for Libre 3. The only approved site for Libre 3 is the back of the upper arm, similar to previous versions of Freestyle Libre. If you place your sensor somewhere else, it is at your own risks. By the way, I tested many more sites for Libre sensor placement, and I will link some of the videos here so that you can check them out. Libre 3 was cleared for all all diabetics that are four years and older. So that includes small kids who are four, five, six years old. And I think for them, it's really great news that the sensor is now so small because it gives them the option with them having really, really tiny arms to rotate the sensor sites appropriately because the area they have available obviously is much smaller than uh, than the adults. So when will the Freestyle Libre 3 system be available? Abbott says in their press release that they will be launching Libre 3 in European countries in the next months. Uh, they don't specify the countries and they don't specify when exactly. So keep your eyes open. If you're in the US, you probably know that Libre 3 has currently clinical trial going on. Uh, that should end in December 2020. Uh, if that's successful, then they can apply for FDA approval. And once that get approved by FDA, they can launch Libre 3 in the US. So that could be sometime in 2021. The first country to launch Libre 2 was Germany. So I will definitely keep my eyes open. I will definitely keep checking the German Freestyle Libre website. And whenever I see Libre 3 is available, I will do my best to get it as soon as possible and make a full video review of Freestyle Libre 3 here on Type 1 Talks YouTube channel. So subscribe if you're not subscribed and click the bell so you get notifications of any future video and you don't miss the full video review of Freestyle Libre 3. Now, if you already have some of the older versions of Freestyle Libre, check the playlist on the screen now because it's loaded with helpful tips and hacks for Freestyle Libre users. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!